So I just bought this Cooser hub for my Axum, my Schwinn Axum. And reason I got this one is because it's very hard to find that 141 millimeter quick release width for the rear dropouts. And Cooser has it. I got this, this, the XM490. I got this one off of Amazon. I'll put the link below. And uh, this one was $85. I was looking at the DT Swiss, but then you have to buy around $250 plus you have to buy $40 end caps for it. It's around $300 for that. So this, I would consider this a budget, <laughs> a budget hub, but it has really, really nice engagement. So I'm going to build my own wheel. And to do that, you need to use the spoke calculator. And for that, you have to take certain measurements that you can see on screen. So I broke out the caliper and such, and I ended up with these measurements. So all measurements are in millimeters. From flange to flange, you measure on the center, and that comes out to 60 millimeters. Of course, from lock nut to lock nut is 141 millimeter the pitch circle diameter is 58 millimeters and then the hardest part was kind of measuring the flange to lock nut here and what i got was i got 47 millimeters for the right and i got 34 millimeters for the left and with that calculation, it gave me an offset once you do the math. So in parentheses are the calculated numbers. So this would actually give me an offset of 7, which is what is listed for this hub by Cooser. So the measurements, um, they should be pretty accurate. Uh, the one thing is, if you look at the measurements that Cooser provides, they do not have the right flange to lock nut or the left measurement. So those are needed for the calculator. So you, th those you have to get yourself. So I hope that helps if you're looking into this hub and wondering how to calculate the spoke lengths. I, on the spoke calculator, I put in what I'm going to use a WTB I-29 rim. And on the web, I found it had a 606, I believe it was, effective diameter. But once I actually get my rims, I'm actually I'm going to measure it and get ex an exact measurements. The ones on the web are not always right. So I hope this helps if you're looking into that. By the way, the hub seems very well built. It has sealed bearings. It has the caps pop right up. You can see the bearings right there. And it's uh, very smooth. Very smooth bearings and very, very quick engagement. Uh, six paws with, I think it's 72 points of engagement. So, hope it's helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it helped out. Give, leave some comments if you have had experience building these. And as always, thanks for watching.